Hi everyone, thanks for taking a few minutes to watch this video with us today. We have some great news that we're sharing. We've expanded our solution offering for our TOSA Digital Skills Platform. We now offer the internationally recognized TOSA assessment and certification for the Adobe platform here in North America. Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign assessments and certifications give educators and businesses access to a globally recognized credential on the number one design platform in the world. As with all of our assessments and certifications, the Adobe solutions are score-based, not pass or fail. So your student or employee is going to have a credential that shows the exact level of proficiency that they've actually achieved. Our certification assessments are also cloud-based, so you don't need to upload, download, or patch anything. Now with the Adobe uh, assessments, you do need either the application or the Creative Cloud installed on the computer. Uh, but as in everything else, the TOSA platform only requires an internet connection. In addition, the Adobe exams are adaptive and scored with IRT methodology, so you'll have an exam that adjusts to the level of the student and provides a more accurate result in a shorter amount of time. You can see here these graphs give a really good example of it, how an adaptive assessment works and adapts to the level of a student. And because we provide detailed uh, data, you have extensive reporting available to help you clearly see the proficiency level of a student, a candidate, or an employee. We just want to take a minute and show you an example of one of our live in-app questions from our Photoshop exam so that you can see how effective our assessments are in delivering precise results on the levels of proficiency that a candidate has. So I'm going to jump over to our uh, platform here. I've got a question loaded up. It's a Photoshop question. Here's the document that you're going to use uh, to uh, uh, work on in this question. You have five minutes in the timer here. And let's just go through the instructions really quick. So you're going to open the above document and make it the following changes to obtain a result like this. Anytime you see a magnifying glass, you can click on it to see what we're looking to have done to the document. It says crop the image by trimming the right part, remove the isolated peas, and use the existing clipping line to change the color of the peas, and then save the file. Okay, so let's go ahead and download the document. And it starts the timer here. You'll see the timer get started. And we're going to jump over to Photoshop and work on this. So the first uh, instruction was to crop the image by trimming only the right part so that the width of this image is 650 pixels. Okay, to do that, we're going to go to Image, Canvas Size. We'll pin it to the left-hand side. We need to change this to Pixels and make it 650. Save that proceed and you'll see that it's now trimmed the image okay the next item on our list is to remove the isolated peas with a quick image editing tools without losing the original pixels so we want to work on a new layer without renaming it so we're going to go in and create a new layer layer one we're not going to rename that and then we're going to choose our spot healing brush tool make sure all of the settings are correct and then we're going to go in and just delete the peas okay just really quickly, do this one here and one more. Okay. Now the next step is use the existing clipping line to change the color of the peas in the pod on the right as shown in the illustration. To do this, create a fill layer without renaming and then we we'll put those colors in. So let's create a new layer. Uh, first we have to select the pathway. So you see the peas are selected here. Create a new layer, new fill layer as a solid color. Click OK. And then the colors are 133, 27, and 16. 33, 27, and 16. OK. And then it had one more thing. Uh, change the opacity to 85 and use vivid light blending mode. So we'll go back to the layer here. Change the opacity to 85 and do vivid light. Okay, so that's all we need to do on this. Let's double check though. We can go back to the magnifying glass, look at the image as it is represented in the correct view, compare it to ours, it looks the same. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is save it as a, uh, the file as a Photoshop file. So we're going to click Save As. It's a Photoshop file. We'll name it Final. Click Save. Okay. Then we're going to go back into our question. And at this point, we're going to choose the file. We're going to upload the file to review. And we're going to go to my desktop. 
Photoshop file, final, open. And then we're going to upload it. So that's the, a great example of what our uh, in-app questions look like. They're very intuitive. Uh, you, you use the actual uh, application. Um, so we're very excited about this. Uh, we hope you are as well. If you have an account with us right now and you already have credits that you've purchased in the past, you do not have to upload a new system. You don't have to download new credits. You don't have to do anything. You can actually give your students or your employees an exam today using the existing credits that you have. You just go in and select it as you would normally and, uh, and select the Photoshop Illustrator or InDesign exams. So again, we're happy about this. We hope you uh, are excited for this as well. If you have any questions, we'd love to chat with you and, and, and provide you with more information. So we look forward to talking to you. Thanks again for joining us and have a great day.